you plan to head out on the Bay of Green Bay soon, a word of warning. As Chris Shuler reports, this weekend, the port is still welcoming ships. And this weekend, the Coast Guard will be out breaking ice. At the mouth of the Fox River, ice covers the waters leading to the port of Green Bay. All right, so this chart shows the navigation channel location. But starting this weekend, a U.S. Coast Guard ice cutter will arrive to reopen that important shipping channel. The Coast Guard um, cutter Mackinac is coming over from Michigan. It's going to uh, lead in two vessels and escort them back out. It's a process that will take roughly four days to complete as the ships offload their cargo. And Green Bay's port director wants anyone thinking about heading out on the bay during that time to be aware of the possible danger. We want people to be aware that if they're venturing farther offshore, we want them well informed so they're not uh, trying to cross the bay in any regard. As the cutter moves through the shipping channel traveling south from Sturgeon Bay, it will open up a path in the ice over 100 feet wide. This will be essentially like a track. It'll be like a road. And while that ice is kept open, Haynes says those who fish ride a snowmobile or ATV out on the bay need to stay far away. And that's the area of concern uh, for um, through the weekend. It's never safe to go across the bay, especially with the big ships coming through. Jeff Tilkins owns a bait shop on the bay. He says when ice cutters are out, ice near the shipping channel is stressed, creating dangerous conditions. Especially with snow cover, you can't see a crack. You go over a crack and it could be lights out. Uh, fish is not worth your life. Ice breaking starts Saturday and the track will be open for at least four days. The last visit to the port before closing until the spring. Reporting in Green Bay, Chris Schuler, Local 5 News. And the port now says a third ship is expected to arrive over the weekend.